Well, welcome. This is Rocky Romero with Peers on the Man. It's just my pleasure to be able to introduce to you Diane Di Hansen of What Works Consultants. Diane, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me, Rocky. Glad to have you here. And so let's get to it. I wonder if you could share a little bit more about uh, not only your business, but also your referral program. Diane? So thank you. Thank you. What Works Consultants specializes in being the C-level's best friend, uh, mostly CEO, COO, and chief learning officer. So those roles that are most tightly tied in with the operations of people within the organization and how those people produce results. So we address change management through the lens of internal research, internal process improvement, as well as as the internal communications that it takes to make those processes stick and the people operations do not only bring in the right people, but train them the way they need to be trained and pull the best out of them performance wise. I'm just really curious about that. I wonder if you could say more about who is the target market? How do they step in and how do they work with you? Well, let me go ahead and share my screen then, and I will just walk you through. This is the formula for successful referrals. And what we see as a successful referral is someone who becomes a client. So just as I just said, we believe business problems should never be faced alone. And this is what that wheel of competency for our firm looks like. Um, what we are not is we don't work with single transaction products, companies not seeking a solution, they're unwilling to change, or not invested in people operations. Basically, if an organization has to be convinced they need to change, they need to come to that level of self-convincing before they come to us. What makes us really different from other consulting firms is we have a research first forward pro, uh, philosophy. And what that means is we don't just run straight to the solution or even what the C-level says, hey, I want this done. What the C-level wants done may not be the actual solution. So we dig in first with the research or we request the research that that decision was based upon. Pivots are welcome. As you do experimentation, new things are discovered. So instead of having hard, fast project plans, what we do is we set out a project plan and then we leave openness to pivot and move and flex according to the learnings that, that we find along the way. So as such, there are no cookie cutters. We're never going to throw a book at you. We are never going to throw a workbook at you, except maybe recommend that you uh, pick up mine from Amazon. Uh, creating critical opportunity, but we don't have any programs that go follow the workbook. That's just not us. Um, we are a consulting firm versus a coaching firm. And the difference between those two things is a coach will just ask probing questions and help guide you to your own answers. A consulting firm will do the research and then tell you what that research says and what you should be doing and develops specific project plans to make those things happen. Happen. So because of that, our beliefs are always question, welcome change, and we walk alongside of you. That solution that we find is as, as unique as your company. So you just need a trusted advisor to climb the mountain beside you to, to find it. Our ideal client um, falls into the service category. So our flagship client right now is Fortune 500 Denny's Corporation. But we've also worked on the government level as well as a community level. We work within healthcare as well as uh, B2B services. So Pestec is an industrial pest management company that works with the likes of UC San Francisco and Google. So um, our clients serve big and we help them serve even bigger. Um, so we have among our client list also one of the top um, customer success management consulting firms in the software as a service industry and have helped them um, create their successful formula as well. The client personas we have are Denny's, which the core services we provide these level of clients are C-level internal communications like presentations, executive strategy, and executive brainstorm. We tend to become that trusted advisor that 
opens other doors to them as well. So um, if they need to connect with one of our partners, um, we have a wide variety of partners, which I will go over a little bit later. We can also connect them to our owner operated contracts. Um, usually they start from 10 to 50,000 a year in, in range. And these are medium sized companies with 30 to 100 employees. Um, their contracts um, range in that range and they usually have multiple locations. So they are looking to grow their service function. They are in a growth phase. So the core services we provide them are company research, process improvement, training development, internal comms, and people operations. And then there is the, what I call the, the very rare gems that we find where we will um, do an initial investment project with them and take a portion of the company to help them rise. So Disbox is a very innovative solution for carry out food with a patented food box. And we are talking um, to the Detroit Tigers, the Seattle Mariners, um, the Las Vegas Raiders, getting that box in, but also they have a patented marketing system that goes along with the box so that franchisees of the box can sell advertising on the box. And, um, and we're building a franchise system. So we will soon own a portion of that particular company. Um, Partnerships that we have that our part, that our clients can leverage uh, are Predictive Index, which is a people operations platform that helps individuals hire, design, inspire, and diagnose issues with teams. And there's a potential to do identified consulting work from this platform's findings. So what makes this easy for a referral friend is that if someone's having a people um, problem in the higher design, inspire, or diagno diagnostic area, we can just get them hooked in with a, a quick demo on predictive index. The entry level is very low on the software, but once they get into the software, that ongoing also creates ongoing commissions for the referral partners. Same thing with Procedure Flow, which is an online secure platform to centralize internal operations and promote continuous improvement. Uh, same thing with Cloud Tech Gurus. Now, our Cloud Tech Gurus partnership is amazing. We are a certified Cloud Tech Gurus advisor, which means that we have access to Every software as a service cloud-based platform in their system, we can do requirements and scoping for clients and then connect those that technology solution in with the process improvement and actually launch that and help them um, onboard, implement, and adopt these larger scale solutions, including helping them get the number of seats their organization has and everything. Um, and, and that also is commissionable as well. And then there's Douglas Recruitment Services. So a little bit of history. A while back, we tried a recruitment division of our own and it did not work. It's not in our core competency to recruit. However, we held on to this partner and this partner is absolutely amazing. So with during the hire phase and the, the HR process or maybe the development and implementation of an HRIS system, they find out, oh my God, we need a CTO. We need, um, we need somebody to fill a role. We can shoot them over to Douglas Recruitment Services. There's a payment here and then the referral friend also gets a payment off of that. So you can see how the services kind of feed into each Why don't other. You tell us about your team. So our team are the best minds to address the challenge. So this is me. I have been at the forefront of transforming companies for the last 20 years. I have multi-industry experience, including SaaS, publishing, entertainment, professional services, government, health care, travel, and consumer products. And I love all of them. And the thread that I love most about them is service. So we focus clearly on the people connection to the service function. That is what we do. So I leverage my experience, my master's in communication management from the University of Southern California, my bachelor's from Cal State, my high performance master's. I'm a certified problem and change manager, as well as a certified customer success management professional. Um, lots of social proof. I mentioned my workbook, which is available on Amazon. I've been a public radio host. Host, and I'm a regular media sourced expert. So you can Google my name and you'll get the latest and greatest, or you can go to whatworksconsultants.com, click on get our research. And I always pump out the media that I'm talking in as well, as well as our research studies. Uh, we have Dr. Candace Pruitt, who is the head of research and client insights. She is 
absolutely amazing. And her research interest is in generational studies revolving around how the culture of an organization impacts knowledge transfer. So if you're having problems with your millennials <laughs> um, or your Gen Z coming up brand new into the workforce, um, we can help you bake that new perspective into your culture to serve those up and coming workers. I have Steve Gomez Pedroza, head of communications process and tech. He um, did communications process and tech for El Pollo Loco. He also has a um, bachelor of science in legal studies, a master's in business administration, and a master's in communication management. Little known fact about my firm is several of my consultants were in the master of communication program at USC with me. And I was actually in every single class with Steve throughout the entire cohort. And we had a project where we had to compete against each other. And it was Team Denny's. And because we were competing against each other, we didn't win. But now we win for Denny's together every day. <laughs> and I love it. Um, another one from USC is Jessica Stampy, a communication strategy consultant. She is absolutely amazing. Um, also a master's in communications management. She's also an educator, uh, adjunct instructor at Santa Barbara City College. Diane Cancino is our communication consultant. She used to work for CNN, so she is our consummate storyteller. Um, she has a BA in communication, media, and foreign language. She also speaks French, Spanish, and Portuguese, and she has the master's in communication management as well. New to the team is Allison Lambert, training development consultant who speaks the voice of youth into training materials and keeps training fun and light. She works hand in hand with me to develop training methodology for our firm, including writing training materials, including manuals, online courses, handouts, all of the nuts and bolts uh, attachments to training process. And we have Marjorie Manjanath, a research specialist. And this woman is an absolute superpower. She is amazing in process, quantitative, quantitative and qualitative research. She is a Forte Fellow, um, MBA uh, 2022. So she's graduating this year from the SMU Cox School of Business. She also has a bachelorette in engineering, which really tightens in her process skill. So that's my team. Well, and so I wonder if you can give us a preview of what's your ideas or opportunities within uh, What Works Consultants for the next six to 12 months, more or less, Diane? So the key to all of this is to understand what you're working with. You know, what do you have currently in your organization? You're going to see a lot of people trying a lot of new things and not a lot of new solutions, monitoring software, new process, uh, new flex schedules, things like that. But you're not going to know which ones to apply until you do the research. When you do the research um, on your organization, you're going to figure out what components of that are going to work and what components of that are not going to work. There's a reason why I call my firm What Works Consultants because we do what works for the client, not what works for the cookie cutter. And there's a lot of information out there. So it all starts with an assessment. And this deep assessment on the internal state includes interviewing everyone who works within the organization. Um, not everyone is built for remote work. They're just not. So you're going to find um, when you align your KPIs with your results, who performs well remote delivering those KPIs and who does not. And, and there are accommodations that need to be made with remote work already. What we're already seeing on an international scale is that organizations like the World Health Organization are getting involved in, as, you know, this is mostly in Europe, in legislation. In, in legislating the employer's responsibility for a worker's home work environment. So there's lots of things coming in. And the only thing that is going to really lock in whether you should do something or not is to have that core research. So what, what Works Consultants offers 
is that research study. So we offer a research study package. We, we conduct the research on your organization. Um, there's, there's an add-on where we can conduct one-on-one -on -one deep interviews as well. But this particular study, we uh, collect the data, we analyze the data, and then we present it back to the sea level to show exactly what that environment is. And it doesn't have to be just remote work. It can be um, m and um, if the m and is happening, or it can be um, a new executive coming in. They just want to know what they're walking into. Um, often I will get a, a new vice president or a, a new um, CMO or something along those lines. And they just want to know what, what they're walking into. So this study can be customized according to the internal knowledge need. And once we understand what the internal knowledge need is, then we can answer the question. You know, I always say that a researcher comes in with a research question, not a research answer. But the pressure that is is always down on the sea level is tell me the answer tell me what we're going to do and without that research it's like it's like leading with blinders on so we lift the blinders off we tell you exactly what your internal state is so that you can make the high powered strategic decisions that you need to make to lead your organization and have it become more profitable um, streamlined all of the things that you know your feet are being held to the fire for. That's exciting. So I'm wondering, Diane, there's probably a lot of leaders, businesses, and companies that would love to be able to work with you and connect with you. Can you share a little bit more? And you said that earlier, but uh, to be clear, how do people get a hold of you to connect with you, Diane? Okay. So what they will do is they will go to my website, www.whatworksconsultants.com. If they're in need of any of these core services, they'll just fill out that form on that appointment card and just tell me what your biggest business challenge is and, and you know what you've tried, how committed you are to solving it. And then what we'll do is we will go ahead and set up a call. I'll just ask you questions and then see, you know, where you, where you are with things and we'll see if we're a fit for each other. I think that's more important than anything is to be a fit for each other. And if, and if anyone's listening to this, who wants to become a preferred partner or a referral partner, um, that is also a discussion that we can have. And it's, it's a red button on the website. It says click, click, 30 minute appointment. We'll just make it real quick. And if we need more, we'll book more. Um, but preferred partners like PI, Cloud Tech Gurus, Procedure Flow, and Douglas started out exactly like this. And our referral friend program is compensated referrals with an eye toward retention. And it's it's really very sweet. So if you are interested in becoming a referral partner, um, what you will receive is you'll receive monthly referral reports. So once one of your referrals converts, you start getting a referral referral report, you get 15% gross of the first contract secured and 5% gross of each contract for the life of the client. So as you might remember from earlier in the interview, um, there are many, many opportunities for clients to grow with us. Vitality Unlimited has been with our firm for four years now. Denny's is about to hit its first year next month. We are a firm of relationship and longevity. So so this is a referral friendship of passive income. Once you make that initial referral and you get that first 15%, that 5% continues to go along. Um, there's one level deeper. If you refer a friend who becomes a referral friend, you get 2% of anything that they push through as well. So there, there is the opportunity to expand, to grow. Um, we do reciprocal referrals. So we do look at our partners first to become tr trusted partners. We also tag you as a referral friend in our email list. So you get the latest news to use in your referrals and to send people who you might think are appropriate. And um, we make it easy. So you can either introduce your referral directly to me via email. My email address is right there. 
or you can schedule a 30 minute introduction call with this particular link and uh, and yourself just for a nice warm handoff. And uh, we add your referral to your monthly report. We send payments through Zelle or direct bank check, whatever you prefer. But I have a quick overview of our rates, but really the best thing to do is just to get in contact with me and just um, just reach out because uh, we really do aim, as you can see from that one-off service, to be accessible, um, you know, just to have, you know, an, an hour with someone who can bring you some clarity sometimes can just be the, the best thing. And it's a nice intro to a relationship as well. So what I would say is, you know, just just reach out and uh, and connect. That's super. Well, th thank you so much, Diane. I appreciate it. I think everybody would love to be able to have a long-term relationship and a financially healthy relationship that keeps on going and that you can we can both grow together. So Absolutely. with that, thank you, Diane. All right. Thank you so much, Rocky. I appreciate it.